we are reviewing the 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2007 film Teeth. This film stars Jess Wexler and Hale Appleman. Dawn is an active member of her high school chastity club, but when she meets Toby, nature takes its course and the pair answer the call. Oh wait, but they don't. <laughs> she is raped. All of a sudden, um, we find out that there's something very unusual going on with Jess. Everything kind of takes a grisly turn from there. So, let's get into it. Hey witches, welcome to Silver Screen Queens. If you didn't already put this together for yourself, the movie is about to be spoiled in this podcast. So strap in. This movie's fucking crazy. It is so good. Amazing. And um, I feel like it makes more, the style of it is almost scream-like in the the tongue-in-cheek nature. Yeah, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Although this was not intended to be satirical, was it? I I think this was supposed to be like a straight-up horror movie. No, it's a dark comedy. It's okay, like, good, it's a good, 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 good. Sure. Okay, I thought I thought it was like incidentally camp. I think which I'm se- here for. Yeah. I think but... it sets up the satire at step one because the concept is v- she has vagina dentata and they're near a power plant. Yeah, but live yes. in a power well, yeah, they live basically like adjacent to a nuclear power plant power adjacent, plant. Yeah. which isn't really discussed at all. We just see it back no, there, so and... we're supposed to draw our own conclusion. Yeah. Okay, and, so yeah. so let let's let's start, start at the, the top, top here. <laughs> Starting so, at the bottom, no way up. Right. So Don, who is our our hero, we'll say. Does Very it start peppy. with the with, with her her, they're her brother and children. Yeah. It okay. starts with her brother. Their children. They're in the baby pool. Yep. Okay, so and there's start two stacks in the background. Yep. Three Mile Island style yep. style That's nuclear what I wrote, three power plant. Literally, nice. Uh, like literally right behind them, breathing in that smog. Mm-hmm. So continue, my love. Yeah, and so that leads us to believe because we know going into it, this is about a woman with teeth in her vagina. Mm-hmm. We're thinking, okay, maybe this plays a part. It's never mentioned though. No. No. So then we zoom down further on to uh, Dawn's house. She is a child with her Step- soon to be stepbrother. stepbrother. Yeah. Yes. Their parents are kind of off to the side. They're flirting because they're in love and they mm-hmm. aren't really married yet. And uh-huh. so, honeymoon phase. Uh, yeah, and the kids are like fighting in the pool and the dad's well, no, like. The, the little girl's just, she's just sitting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I'm just sorry. kind of being. He's dick. harassing her mm-hmm. and the dad's just like, guy, like, hey, buddy, be nice to your sister. And mm-hmm. he's like, the boy's just like, she ain't my sister. Yeah. And he's like, well, I'm hoping like someday she will be soon. Eyebrows, and eyebrows. Fuck, and the yes. fucked up part is, so you know they're naked because they're little kids and they're in the pool naked. And I don't, he I says, think, I don't I think, think they're wearing I think, trunks. You know but how it just says, like takes one little shift of a piece of cloth yeah, to show his dick. To be out. No, because he says, now let's see yours. Oh yeah, but I think he just like finagled it through yeah, that little finagled it through. Like boys yeah. So I like how he says, now let's see yours, but he has to touch her because then he recoils and his finger's bloody and you make the assumption that he's touched inside of her vagina and she is a very little kid. Yes. And we're talking like maybe four. Yeah. Yeah. And, probably. Um, and so what's And he's probably like six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not being the picture that he was. I mean, it's fucked up, but yeah, he's but not like a teenager. Young exactly. enough that at least you're, it could be just child like, well, you know. And young enough that you have plausible deniability of remembering exactly. it later. Exactly. Right. Which is what happened. Yes. But I think it's interesting because in a lot of the synopsis of this film, they're like, her being having a traumatic experience led to this. No, she fucking had these bur- from birth. It's like yeah, yes, like yeah. Some, it's basically she was. And again, that's what's really fun. I love the power plant. I love the power plant idea. Yeah. Oh, it's that beautiful. like it could have to do with mutation is so cool. Well, and they mention mutation and adaptation through it. That's yeah. a huge thread throughout yeah. the entire film. Is this evolution ad- adaptation? Um, do we know where in the U.S. this takes place? Is it ever noted? Like I, I'm some just saying Middle America. America. So Midwest. it's it's a white town. Yeah. Very religious, Bible Belt feeling vibe. Oh yeah, there vibe. is not a person of color at the all. The only person of color is the teacher who is oh, actually advocating right. for evolution, yes. which is interesting that it's an I outsider perspective. That. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I like that. And I think there's a police officer as well that's black. I but. like the fact that it goes right into her in the pro abstinence with that um, bright red ring, and which looks like a bite mark, motherfuckers. So yes. goddamn peppy. And she's like, nobody masturbate or touch yourself or fuck anybody. And she's like, keep your gift wrapped. And I'm like, fuck you. I literally <laughs> drift off while that? watching this scene. Oh, yeah. I thought about it. Uh, what does that mean, wrapped? Yeah. Like, are we talking chastity belt? Um, I'm wait, thinking I, my automatic connection condom? is a condom. But that's not true right. because it can't be there. Right. They don't want you no, to No, because you can't even fucking jerk off. You can't this. even touch yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, when he's like, no self-touching. They got it. Oh, they and must... he also is like, no back door. <laughs> no <laughs> wait, he said that. So, like, as they're talking in the hallway after she gives her whole spiel of virginity and purity, um, you can still hear the principal talking, who's a mad creep, by yep. the way. 
And he's saying things like, the back door is also not a back door. So oh. he's just like, don't put it in her butt or his butt. Don't put it in her. Because they Under. also talk about oral sex. Yes. I, but but yeah. homosexual just yeah. doesn't exist in this Wait, universe. she yeah. says, um, you need to hold on to it and share it with the mother of your children. I was like, ugh, gross. Yep. I know Emily's a mom, but literally I'm like, get the but fuck gross. out of here. <laughs> also, also, gross. there's nothing less sexy than pooping a watermelon out of your vagina. <laughs> like, that's, you don't want to be fucking and be like, this is the end goal. I want a kid to tear that shit up. Yeah. Well, they don't show vaginas, so there's no way for them to know. Yes, that is such an important point. The the big gold sticker over the vagina. Yes. After they just like Wait, zoom, oh my God. zoom up in on the dick. Yep. They're like, this is what a Wait, dick no, looks like. Wait, no, don't get there yet. Don't and get vaginas there. are so much more excited. attractive than penises. No, we don't anyway, get there yet. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Chronological, chronological. Really, sorry, let me pour so, more champagne. Okay, yeah. but um, do me up too. <laughs> it is um, it is a one twenty three, and we're drinking champagne. But this Yay. is this is the. Theme of this podcast. Um, so, so while yes. Dawn is giving her speech, she sees, um, she Toby. sees Toby. Which I hate that that's my dad and nephew's name. <laughs> and he, honestly, he's kind of, he's, he's kind of got it. He's a snack. He's a snack. And like, they're all wearing their chastity rings, which are so ugly. Mm-hmm. Um, but she, being the sexy, sex positive, doesn't know it yet kind of woman, she um, takes a sneak peek at Toby's crotch. Mm-hmm. And you see his chastity ring, but that doesn't matter because... Because there's a crotch down you there. You see, it's dear. Uh, <laughs> give, it up, give it up, Jesus. And then from there, they go to the watering hole. Right, and she's like, don't people come here to make you? Yes, and they were like, oh, there's a cave, and people go there to do, you know. Get the fuck on. Yeah. But she's like, only at night. I'm like, I forgot sex only happens. Yes. Let's get it all. <laughs> wow, that was good. Yes. And there's like so much sexual tension in that scene because... Oh my goodness, like they're near a water and they have to like Oh get my in. god, yes. guess what else is wet? Oh, oh. <laughs> my cup. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um no, but I uh I love that it's it re- is reminiscent of the movie Saved. For yes. Me. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. this really ridiculous I positivity. love that movie so much. I love that movie. Um that movie is everything this movie is, but this movie's so much more fucked up. It's so much more fun. And I love I don't know if I've ever seen Saved. Mm. It's so good, Macaulay Culkin's put in it. it. Yeah, put it on your list. Put, on list. put it on that list. It's not a horror movie, unfortunately, so we can't. Oh, well, then that's why I'm, um, I'm like, is there, one, is is there, there any horror movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's the point? Um, I like how then the scene pivots from that. She goes home. She goes to her mom's. You see, it, they set up basically the super dysfunctional family mm-hmm. of the brother is an ass. Oh my god! I, when I took my notes, he was just shithead throughout the entire. Shithead. Thing. I didn't know his name until the end. And and the mom is sick, and I'm like, okay, does, you live near a power plant. Does she have yes. cancer? I don't know. Because they never say. They don't go for the cheap mm-hmm. shot of her being bald. No, because it's a low budget movie. So you assume if she was supposed to have cancer, they would have taken her hair away. That's just like they just never but go into it. They're also a super Christian family. So it's Christian, maybe they um, don't take meds. Maybe yeah, maybe no they're meds. anti-vax. So but are are we? She setting... is taking pills though. We do see. Her okay, but okay, are okay, we okay. setting up? But yeah, that's the thing. I don't know. I think we're setting up that just her. And I'm wondering this. Do you think? in some way I was like thinking the whole time I was like I wonder if like her mom got her into this whole thing knowing like okay something is wrong down there like maybe the mom found out somehow I don't think she knows and is like trying to make her be abstinent because she doesn't know how it's gonna be handled I mean I blame the town on that that would that would make sense yeah yeah because you know it only happens when she's not it's not consensual yes yeah Yeah. um so Um, I don't think like as a baby or anything that would have been something that you know, her mom would have noticed. And then she's listening to, in her bedroom, uh, her mom is sick, so she goes in her bedroom then, and she's listening to, love is worth waiting for. Oh it's God, like yes. a song, and I'm like, I'm gonna Banger. fucking, yeah. bu- fucking go do some meth. I wanna, like, make, I can't a, I wanna make a sex tape to that <laughs> Like, song. love is worth waiting for, and you're sucking off a stranger at, like, a Denny's or something. Boy. So this is sex um, ed class now. Yeah, so the next day, they, um, she's, like, going to school, she's riding up on her bike. Um, very she's, 2000s fashion. Yes, very oh 2000s my God, fashion. The leggings with the yes. skirt, with the, yeah. Yes. Belt. The and belt on top. She's strapping in her bike and she hears rap music and then she prays for the rap music. Wait, is that what actually yes. happens? God forgive my ears for listening. <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> The guys that she runs into, like, they're all making fun of her for her religion. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, save yourself. Because her shirt says love is worth waiting for. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then um, the, you can see these couple of guys are, like, goading each other into trying to interact with her. And you kind of feel like, yeah, okay, somebody's trying to fuck with her. I'll be honest, at first, the one guy, the long you're guy. not sure if he's genuine. Like, oh, I, I thought he was I, genuine. I think he was genuine, but we'll get into it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Um, so then we cut to sex ed, which isn't sex ed because... No, um, honestly, this rang 100% true to my sex ed Oh, experience. absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Uh, this, is, this is across literally, America right mm-hmm. now. Literally, he says, um, like, they, so they're talking about the dick. Mm-hmm. But he then, can't say vagina. Can't no, he cannot say the, say word, the word vagina. And then they turn to the vagina page, and as Blaine said before, there's a big old sticker on it. Big yep. gold so seal of disapproval. See what so the nobody knows looks what like. a vagina looks like. And he literally wrote this down. He says... Well, the penis is different. They said, why can't we see it? He says, mm-hmm. the penis is diff- different. He said, and then she says... Dawn! Dawn Dawn! Well, that's because women have a natural modesty. And, and everybody when, laughs at her. And, she and I was like, laughing with them. Yeah. Pussy murdering bitch. Yeah. I, I, may, so I like, may have bullied Dawn. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be honest. Like, it's not Dawn, great. guess who I fucked last night? Right. Um, and, and so it was just crazy. Like, that scene is so setting up the nonsense. Time's a trillion. Sort of like um, the misogyny and fear of talking about our sexuality and stuff, mm-hmm. but time's a million. And yeah. there's the brother, Brad, who's taking it back down to fucking primal asshole shit all the time. Oh my he's, God. So basically, we have established, she goes back home, he's fucking scarred for life because he he just wants that her pussy. That's all he wants. He no, want anybody he else's exclusively pussy. wants b-holes. He, but he only yes. wants to fuck yes. his sister in the pussy. And you can tell. Well, he because- didn't even want, we'll get into that, yeah, but yeah, it was, yeah. there was hesitation. So, so he says, so he's in the scene with his girlfriend. He has like this mean dog, which by the way, again, upset. Mother. Where are mother, where are that's, movies? I need to talk about <gasps> yes, mother. Let's talk about mother. Okay. Oh. Yes. So <laughs> Brad has Sorry, this dog that he keeps caged up. A Rottweiler. A Rottweiler. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which and she's very cute. Yes. Yeah, she's adorable. Her name is mother and he abuses her, which to me is a dead ringer for mommy issues mm-hmm. because he is insistent for that sure. his stepmother is not his mom mm-hmm. yes. and he doesn't like her doesn't like the fact that his dad married again. Mm-hmm. So he abuses Cage's his dog. mother. Yes. He has, so he has anal sex with his girlfriend. Yes. Then, I don't know that we learn her name no. at all. So there's no, no way this passes not. the Bechdel test. No. Then he like does this kind of, there's this weird scene where he tries to feed her a dog bone. And at first it's kind of like, oh, let's be sexy. And then it gets real gross. It was never sexy. No, it was never sexy. But like at first you, <laughs> she, think, you think it's going to be brief. Yeah. And it just lasts in ever. So long. And it was so, so uncomfortable. Props, I props it. to her acting because you can see in her her faith, her the going stages, through the motions yeah. of like, okay, I, I would play along with this, sure. Because she's obviously playing along with a lot of shit because mm-hmm. she has expressed her distaste for only having anal sex. Right. And she's like, you know that I per- I have a perfectly good pussy. And he's like, well, then let it, someone else fuck it. And she's and like, she's maybe like, I all the guys say so. Yeah, right, he's exactly. Like, well, fuck them. Right. So she's already expressed her sexual frustration with him. So then he's like trying to like goat her with this dog bone. And you can see in her eyebrows her being like, so okay, we do some fear. fucked up shit. I love maybe, and then immediate fear of yeah. like, is he gonna? This guy could do whatever. Kill me? I love like, this. Yeah, I love that. Dog like pain? he, he kind of like lifts her teeth up like this. Yeah, and it's, it's an obsession like, with so her awkward. teeth. It's an <gasps> obsession with her teeth. Oh my teeth. god, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's just he's literally viewing her lateral incisors and her canines and like okay, really dentist. getting in there. Emily works at a dental group. So I Emily am is no actually way, a, a certified dentist. I am in no way a dentist. I has done dental work on me. I have teeth. <laughs> what you got? Exclusively in my mouth face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so he's he's having this obsession with tracing her teeth, and then uh, she finally is just like, "Get the fuck off of me!" Um, yeah, and then which? How is he somehow the least shitty dude in this movie that he actually oh, respects no. her now? I... I know, like he respects her now, and also he doesn't ever attempt to sexually assault Dawn. No, so like because he's... I also think there's that. Um, we're there's not that blood. latent, that's mm-hmm. that latent fear too that mm-hmm. was initiated whenever right. he tried, well, whenever he molested her right, as absolutely. children. Mm-hmm. This is like every porn I've ever seen where they're like setting it up, like, but we're not blood. Next scene is the class and the evolution Ooh. scene, and she's late for it, obviously. Yep. She so, misses it. So let's dig into this scene just a little bit. Yes, there's, I think there's so a much lot to of uncover. interesting things. So a, this reveals the entire plot of the movie. So people assume that vagina, vagina dentata is a bad thing, but we learn in this scene that it's actually Protection. evolution. It's 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 women, obviously. There's a large percentage of women who's been sexually assaulted. It's them evolving against sexual assault. Right. Mm-hmm. So Don, however, is just like I'm late. Yeah. Does not come to this fucking lecture, and then the teacher looks Don in the eyes and says, "This lesson was about you." Yeah. Something I want to talk about 
before though is yeah. when she comes home the night before the sex ed or mm-hmm. the uh, the lesson mm-hmm. is she comes home and the TV is on and there's a horror movie <gasps> playing that features yes. a deadly scorpion that is about to eat a man mm-hmm. and she she feels something you can see it that she's feeling something very inherent where it's like this is me mm-hmm. like I'm afraid of myself I don't know what to do. And then later that night, she's trying, like, well, she's thinking about masturbating. And then that image of the scorpion comes to mind. She's like, nope, chastity, chastity, chastity. Yes. Or purity, purity, purity. purity. What I like is that uh, that scene where she's, like, faux masturbating, and I'm also just like, what a bummer. Oh, I what know. A First of all, town. like, it's, it's like she doesn't have any control over herself her hands are molesting it her it seems yes yeah, like automatic she's not there she's mm-hmm. imagining things and her hands her are wedding, their own yes. specifically which is so funny to me what? she's what? like you know what's sexy she's an like, expensive wedding dress yes and she's imagining yeah. uh, her wedding night with toby mm-hmm. and so like her yeah hands because that's how we thing. all masturbate thinking about our wedding night i wore a purity ring i did all that are you shit. serious i was that 100 percent. So, i went to youth group for a short period of time and the entire time it was me being like, you know, I just don't buy, I don't buy the God thing. And then so an older person who was probably like a senior in high school, she was like, let me try to convince you. And she was like, here's the science. And I was like, this isn't really science you though. Science? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh, so here's the science. It's bad. Yeah. Here's the science. Like this, there's, a there's evidence of a cult here. Um, so what you're saying is if I, um, female, uh, if I circumcise myself, yeah. Right. Um, then everything will be fine. Yes. Mm-hmm. So after the weird evolution class, yes. Um, John calls up Toby. Yes. And says they can't go out together anymore, uh, even in a group. Oh, when they're actual they're in the locker room. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. And also, P.S. Not to be a creep, but the high school locker room scene was like. Oddly. Oh, there's dicks flying. I didn't yeah. see a dick. You see a dick in the background. You saw a dick? Like, and there these are, dicks are minor flying. dicks. Mm-hmm. Wait, <laughs> yeah. you saw a dick? Yeah, there's dicks a flying, man. I didn't see any dicks. How do you not you clock see, like, dicks when you see them? I tried to clock there's the like dicks. There's like a quarter of a top of a, what I'm assuming, Force... uncircumcised peen. Wow. Flapping Very, about. You must have paused. This is like of wild things. Of course I paused. <laughs> this is um, wild things. Literally, do you know how many wild times time. I rewound wild things? Also, that's indicative of how old wild things is. That's true. You know what I mean? That I you rewinded physically had to shit. rewind it. I was like, hold I on, pause. That, that part rewind. of the tape was worn down. Yep. Um, yeah, and then I like that they're both like, yeah, like, we just can't. Like, But I love we, that, but... like, they don't know each other. They've hung out once, and she's like, we're so in sync. <laughs> oh, my God. It's it's all this <laughs> And he admits that his thoughts have it's been impure. So, yes, it's and, so teenage. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I yeah. remember saying to... <laughs> I remember telling people, oh my god, he and I are so in sync. Whenever he was like, yeah, I like Janis Joplin too. He <laughs> did not like Janis Joplin. Or, or it's like that thing where you're like, I like popcorn. Oh my god, uh, what? Have, yeah. Have you ever listened to the Beatles? Do you know <laughs> that too. there's this road where like you can make out there? Yeah, oh my god, we're like we're in so sync. sync. <laughs> back streets back, all right. <laughs> Um, but no, I love that, um, then they're talking like that, and then, um, she goes from that to reading a book about enduring myths. If you notice in the whole movie, all of her clothing is very juvenile. There's, like, mm. unicorns, and, like, yes. the, the distinction her between- Her swimsuit has, like, a tutu. The distinction yes, between her so much. and her brother and her stepbrother is mm. so sharp. It is. It's, it's such it's a- It's really beautifully done. It is. Yeah, it's really, like, everything is set- so much like he is this depraved fucking but, but ass the brother fucker. still looks like a child yeah like his he has such He's a baby face so that actor hard. by the yes. way looks super familiar and i don't know why i think he just has that dickhead but look. i think he's yeah. been in other movies that we've seen Probably. like in the With 90s fake ass at tattoos um yeah i love when they have the <laughs> fake tribal tattoos i'm like wait can you not like make anything other than a tribal tattoo fake mm-hmm. like seriously come on although that does just str- scream like 90s trash Absolutely. it does yeah. um also i love that there is an open air f- um for the dog that the the other yes. side is open so he's constantly getting airflow in this room yeah well like the, and maybe that's like the the chemical plant is impacting <gasps> him as well shit sorry. i am serious the chemical plant is a big player in all of this and i love that it's so not talked about like yeah. it's just not it's just discussed. always there um okay so then he oh, she's reading the book there's the conversation with her and brad because mm-hmm. he's talking to his girlfriend and they're fighting and she's like again about anal sex first of all it's like honey some people don't even like having anal sex you're kind of lucky <laughs> right kind of yeah. beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> think about it you're never gonna get pregnant I right. love the angle you're taking on I'm taking this. a good angle here I'm trying to make it positive you know yes. what turn a negative into a positive I appreciate so that. second Spinning thing it. is um 
she he like the line he's he like, says that sticks out you. is she's like I love you and he's like oh I love you he's like yeah you look better with a dick in your mouth and I'm like you know what buddy like okay, and he first says I love all, your ass at some point he's yeah like, and he's like I love, like, your, I love ass. your ass mm-hmm. and it's like okay you don't need to be so obviously like this is the most mach- macho yes display Toxic. and in contrast yes. with like reading a book about enduring myths yes. and now we know her vagina is a monster <laughs> you know what I mean well it's interesting because like the whole myth of virginity. Yeah. Yeah. So That's like all I think that plants that Virginity seed. is a construct. It's not testing, real. Testing, testing. It's a construct. Not real. Um, also, um, it's uh, the part when she goes in there to talk to him when yes. he leaves. That's where you first see the incestual, yes. strange, where it's incestual like thing. Definite, and it's all coming from him. Yes. And I'm confused. I'm still confused about that. Like, what? There's an angle with all this. We're establishing, like, the mother, with the dog being named mother, there's an angle. Mm-hmm. The incestuous part, like, obviously they're not related technically, but they are brother sister. Mm-hmm. So, I don't get it. I believe it stemmed from that moment in the pool. Where he wanted to do something and she wouldn't let him. Mm -hmm. And it's been in the back of his mind. While he can't, at this point, remember how he got that scar, he knows he wants something. And that's where it's all very latent, just like the continuous butt sex, where Mm -hmm. he's not going into anybody's vagina. And but, he and he knows it was Don that wounded yes. his finger. Yeah, and then he, the girlfriend he asked. Finger. Yeah, and yes. he's like, I think she bit me, and he she's and like, she's an like, infant bit yeah. you. Yeah, and 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 he's like, no. And and like, <laughs> he's like, and maybe butthole. yeah. <laughs> butthole's not have teeth. <laughs> Vaginas do. So that's the thing. He's like scarred for fucking life. Like he thinks all vaginas have teeth in them, mm-hmm. and he's gonna get hurt. Dude, I. I mean, also look, we don't ever get to the fact of how deep and set these teeth are. Yeah, we're not ever well, sure. I don't think it's very deep. I think it's very shallow. Because right, honestly, so the wound on his finger yeah. wasn't really. And that also, when you down. think about it, the way it's cut in the dick, it's cut him at the base. Yeah. So if your balls deep. Yep, it's right. getting coming it's exactly off. Exactly right. Also, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, at, after we have to rate the the. The um, chewed off dicks by like on a Separate random penises, yeah. one to circumcised, like you know what I mean. <laughs> one, to, um, no, but Wait, so, I'm sorry. Okay, are you not saying? Sure. Yeah, okay, not sure, we'll not sure. Let's okay. move it away. Let's move it away. We have to rate those dicks. Yes, I would also like to add that it's not about sex for him. It's not at all sexual. No, it's it intimacy. is about conquering. Yeah, yeah, it's about conquering. It's about that power that she took away from him mm. at a very young age. Mm. He doesn't realize it because he can't remember at this point, but he is intimidated by her and he wants to conquer that shit. I like um, it. The principal at one point, I don't even remember where it was in the movie, but I remember he pissed and he was like, he's like, yeah, sex wasn't supposed to be like this, but then Eve ruined yeah, everything. Yeah, it was like a slut. With Satan. And you're like, the serpent. Wait, you're blaming Eve before you blame Satan, you yep. fucking piece of shit. Okay, so a thing... That I do, now that we're talking about Adam and Eve, Mm. a thing that I do think is very significant and alludes to that is the next scene where she's all hopped up and horny. She's in the forest near the watering hole Mm -hmm. and she's like, Toby, I need you right now. And he fucking comes over faster than all It's so funny. It's It's just the speed with which. scene (laughs) is so comical because he zooms like. And he's like, the dust. car's about to flip. Yeah, it's like dust. It's like that meme where it's like, hey, come over. Uh, I don't know. I have shrimp cocktail. And it's like, boom. I love right there. I'm shrimp here. Shrimp cocktail is the sexiest <laughs> thing. Wait, I love, I love that that's Blaine's, like, I would go for that. <laughs> yep. She's I, like, wait, done. how many shrimps in that cocktail? Wait, 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 wait. Are we talking, uh, like, I fresh? We each get our own? Frozen. <laughs> if we're sharing, I'm not coming. Poached. <laughs> literally. Um, literally and, and metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Um, so I, okay, so then this is the part where they're like getting in their, in their swimmies and yes. she oh, no, he is in his undies. He's in his yes. undies. And she and says, she's, she she's says, just, just as I imagined, imagined you. And I'm like, in your granny panties. <laughs> in your green little undies. Yeah. Also, um, I imagined you too. Or, or me too. Yeah. But, but for you. Less. With less. With me. <gasps> with less. I was like, fuck you, green undies. Also, like, I love that, like, then we see this character who appeared so innocent, and at first he has well, he's well intentioned because he's like, we see that he's like, we shouldn't, you're right, like, we shouldn't hang out. Okay, oh, he gets let, it. We're, let's not forget the conversation where um, she's like, I'm a virgin. He was like, I'm, I am in his eyes. But it's a right. hard pause. Yes. I am. She's like, good, check. Awesome. And he's like, 
fucking in God his eyes. And she's um, like, so that's a hard no. He's like, I only technically did it because did this it lady came over to me. Yeah. Her name was Eve. She had a snake on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> she's she just coming out really, of her hole. <laughs> she told me that the last dick she sucked was a snake. And I was like, Psh, okay, I can tell well, that. Well, that's a I guess that's then. okay. Um, <laughs> so, and then Wait, they... Snake dicks? <laughs> snake dicks. Um, so then they jump into the water and they swim. Yeah, and that's where I'm like, I'm so sorry to cut you Go. off. Go. I apologize. No. And that's where I'm like, this is very Adam and Eve. Yeah. Yes. Forbidden where fruit. Adam's and... transgressions don't fucking matter. It yeah. is all on her mm-hmm. and what she's doing. Yeah. And Adam is the one um, with the autonomy and she is not. Yes. Absolutely. And what's crazy is like, so it everything pivots real quick now. So it's like, everything's fast. So like, this movie's fast. Like, Can, so there's yeah. no pauses. Can we also take a moment to appreciate the fact that she wrapped herself up in like a jizz coated... I was super wait, 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 wait. wait. I was like, so she they knows. go, they crawl up into this like cave. Into the fuck cave. And also, but then there's like, bitch, you don't know whose that is. No, it doesn't matter. We know whose it is. She who's is it? everybody. Yeah. yeah. Like everyone. And it's like a little jizz rag. It's and she's literally, like, mm, oh, and I'm also cozy. she's like, oh, it's so crinkly, it's so cracky. <laughs> Did they just, there's Did so I much it, chlamydia? There's like powder coming off of it. Right. It's odd. Like my mom would let me get HPV shots, so right. we'll see um, what happens. Um, so then she I love. Got <laughs> so then or they cancer. It's terrible. They start like. Uh, kissing and okay, oh, like and by the rope before they even yeah. get there. He's yes. like, and you can tell wrong, and she's like, "Yeah, right." And like, so she's like into it, and okay, so then they get in the cave, start fucking kissing, and she's like, "No, bitch, no, hard pause, not." Because he reaches for the titty when they're still yep. on the rope, and she was like, "Purity," nope. but she, she also goes hands. straight for the cave. Yeah, but like, then right, she but knows the thing. thing. But like, let's get her fuck on. Here's the thing, though. This is she where wants it on her turn. This mm-hmm. is where no, but this is where it there becomes this as a society we talk about this fine line like look she's still showing some interest but at the end of the day she's saying no exactly. so she really says what what they're exactly. doing is what I like what they're doing here because they're they're going up and ba- down yeah. and up and down and she's maybe a nod maybe a nod mm-hmm. and then at the end of the day she's like no and he's like but wait you showed me kind of that you were down yeah. DTF right. so let's fucking do it now the fucked up part of this is she he starts she kind of like passes out out of like well, anxiety he tracks her head yeah. Yeah. Against, oh like, I didn't even notice that cave. okay so she She's basically knocked out when he yeah. rapes her. He's going to have yeah. sex with her. So yeah. then um, he starts doing it, and what's the Jaws sound? How did you get that melody? <laughs> 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 yeah, literally. And Let's then, boom, dick. dick comes off. Because she's knocked out yeah. while he's penetrating well, so her. When she wakes and and up, so she comes to while he's inside of her, and she's like, Slams what? that Clamp. dick off. Yeah. yeah. Well, And he's like, it's okay, you don't have to do anything. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And she's like, this is not okay. I did not consent to the sexual relationship. <gasps> dick snap. <laughs> oh, also, wait, it's like, wait, it's like in Parks and Rec when it's like, kaboom. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it. Kaboom it. And she it's like, kaboomed his dick off. Yeah. And, um, and then I love that they... Like the screaming and the way that he is screaming, like a like a girl, like and then she <laughs> screams back at him, and then he screams at her, and it's just screaming back and forth at each other till the dick is on the Fully floor. Severed. So let's severed. talk about effects here. Yes, I, I like that fake. Oh dick. my god, it's a good the fake, fake dick. dick, the body dickless, although Amazing. the balls are still attached. Yeah, yes. but you don't and see much. You see, you see bush. bloody. Yeah, you see bush. It's so beautifully detailed and so gorgeously done. I, whoever manicured that guy's bloody bush. Well, and again, we're not well talking done. special effects. These are practical effects. Mm-hmm. And it's so because it's dick artwork. Off. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do it for the art. Do it for the art. This Ow. is important. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Heaven's Gate? Okay. It's that cult. Do it for the gram. Okay? Um, also, and uh, I like that. Okay, so I think I have a theory about the fake dicks they're using. There oh, are, I have I have information on. Oh, you well, do? the last oh, late. Yes. yes. So my day. thought is there are those dildos that are made for people that are uh, transitioning. That it's like to have the presence of not even a hard dick. It's like they're oh okay. They're, they're yeah. made for right, it's just a, like a cog piece. Kind it's just of a thing. piece yeah. to feel like there's something there, and it's yeah, yeah. it's it's um flaccid, mm-hmm. um, and they're really soft and they feel pretty lifelike. And I feel like they just took one of those. <laughs> How many of these have you been um, around? I know. I, um, no, because there's a shop that I go to and they yeah, have a Steph selection of those. Got it. Okay. They have a selection. I'm asking for a friend. Yeah. How no. long would get one? They have a selection of those. What and, kind of select? Um, you know what? Let's all sizes, no balls, balls, lock, tiny balls. It's a I lot guess of things. that makes sense. Yeah. I'm thinking they're using Good. that. That's awesome. You know what would be even funnier though? There. You know what would be so funny? I wish 
that they got those guys like the clone a willy thing and made them clone <laughs> their own dick. Actual dick. Yeah. That would be like for the art. Well, that the would art. not be surprised if that happened. Was that, that technology be available in 2007? I'm sure. Who knows? If not, people just probably like took peanut butter like Clark did in the thing in season the in episode were a one. Wild time. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Um. So yeah. So then he screams. He falls in the water. She leaves. Yeah. Well, she. I. I. I have to take a moment and appreciate her body language post assault. So the way that she recoils on herself, and I think that teeth as a film is just a very thinly veiled metaphor for sexual assault. Yeah, of course. So yeah. it's her bl- immediately blaming herself mm-hmm. for this for this action. So she recoils to the side of the cave and then literally has to like grasp the side mm. of the cave to get grounded again yeah and then is horrified so um, yeah. then she goes home and doesn't tell her anyone that she was just raped because mm-hmm. she her parents feels are like you want to some dinner she did something wrong mm-hmm. she in this moment feels the onus is on her and for then what she just occurred. fucks up her room she throws down all her all because her she cute, thinks cute that that gift has been stolen from her yeah mm-hmm. she takes She's down all put, her posters yes she puts so much stock into this virginity that it does not exist and then it was ripped away from her and she feels that it's her fault. So she has to reject then yep. her entire life, her so, identity. And what's interesting is then we go to the second time she's speaking in front of the group of kids Ugh. and talking. And in oh, wait, this... can I... Yes, 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 yes. Go, go, go. So when she comes home and her stepfather calls, there's dinner if you want a bite. Is that what he yes. says? Yes. And I was like, the, oh, I the, love the, the tongue in cheek on this movie. I'm talking about oh un, a lot. On yeah. para fucking mm-hmm. loud. Mm-hmm. Um, so this, the scene where she goes for the second round of the abstinence mm-hmm. chats. Mm-hmm. To me, this is the purest um, mimicry of how I feel about modern religion. Mm-hmm. And basically that like, it's a whole bunch of talking about shit that nobody believes is real mm-hmm. in their heart of hearts. And like, or maybe it's, it's, or maybe it's like for the people who are, um, a lot of the people like we're thinking about evangelicals and all these people that are going and spouting the shit, like you're fucking, it's all rehearsed, it's it's rehearsed. Um, like she is preaching this thing that now she understands the reality of in a well, very I fucked up way. I think she's still trying to find the reality of it because mm-hmm. she still feels guilty, which is yeah. n- in no way okay that yeah. she feels guilty. Um, and she's even still clinging on to the idea of purity. And I think she's, she's like, I could talk to you yesterday when I was pure. Well, yeah. I, th- I think the craziest thing too is at this point, she has now fully realized she has teeth in her vagina. Right, that's mm-hmm. also fucking happening. Can we also touch on the fact that in sh- at, before she goes up to speak, the youth group director touches her and, and she, she completely freaks out. Yes, recoils. Totally yeah. recoils, yes. And I think that is such, like, I don't, it struck me so much because it was like, Yes. Yep. That. Mm-hmm. But I, I like that this scene is super weird because you're, I don't think it's actually happening. I think she's having kind of like visions. It's just breaking I'm down. The kids are like chanting. Know. Like yes. they're like Adam and this and Adam and Eve and this of and the that. Flesh. Like the of serpent. the flesh. The serpent. The serpent. The, yeah. serpent. the kids, she's talking about abstinence and like they're almost asking her. It's like a, it's like a call and repeat. Yeah. Or it's like a callback, like a callback yeah. or something. Well, in another part where she's blaming herself, she says, there's something inside me that's lethal. And then they say, the serpent. Yes. Yes. Because, and now she's identifying herself as an evil thing. Well, and as Medusa. She's yeah. Yeah, she looks at that, yeah. that Enduring Myths book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, you get all psyched out, like, they're doing this callback, and then all of a sudden there's, like, this really weird music, and there's, like, a dance, like, the, you know, yeah. the church, like, the little know, group's having, like, like, a dance scene. weird, scene. like, church dance. And I then, fucking, in comes other dude who mm-hmm. wants some pussy, and What's he doesn't even name? know why. Mm-hmm. I don't even know his name. I think it's Ryan. Oh, it's so then, like Clark so <laughs> he's, like, do you want to ride home? And she's, like, yeah. Yeah, she doesn't want to be there. Well, she didn't even, he didn't even ask her if she, she wanted to yeah. ride. Oh, she said, are she you said, going do you have a car? Yeah, and he, she's she just like, wanted out. Yeah, my mom, and she's like sweet, and then it smash cuts to her in yep. his car. And the then he, home. so they get in the car. He's like, um, he drops her off. He drops he her off. He gives her, her out. He gives her his card, which is adorable. Also, yeah, who has a card? I did. I <laughs> did had a card. Did you? <laughs> it had my headshot on. Oh, it. Emily. Well, yeah, you, I mean, you were I an sucked. actress. Yeah, that's true. I that's true. Fully sucked. No, yeah, you, you were an actress. That's oh, why no, I had it. But you're still rooting for him at this point. Yeah, you think he's you think he's nice here. Yeah. So then she's like, "That's funny," and he's like, "Oh, that's what? That's funny." And then okay, so then it's this interesting thing again of brad dominating the guy comes back he's like wait fuck her she doesn't want to go on a date with me so brad comes back brad like knocks him the fuck out and he's like yeah like come back and it's like this weird 
again, like he's feeling toxic. territorial. Yeah, yes. over her towards Dom. Yeah. yeah, she then, uh, you know, is kind of going through a lot. Right. At yeah. That point. And then she goes back to the scene where she was raped to yeah. find the yeah. dick, and she finds um a Toby's crab. severed dick being eaten by a crab. It kind of looks like the crab is fucking the dick, which yep. is fun. I kind of like that it looks like the crab is wielding the dick. Crab. That's true. That's true. Like I like that it looks oh, like it's like too. under the sea, under the dick, <laughs> under the <this> dick. <laughs> Everything is wetter. Dick. Down there it's wetter. <laughs> Take it from me. So she ends up. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> Uh, so she ends up like wandering the site and goes up this cliff and she has this really introspective moment where she's like it's all a bunch of bullshit um and she takes off her purity ring and tosses it down the ravine they do that like shot of it like slowly although i would like to mention that it's it's it was interesting to me at least the first time that i watched this movie that the dick is what made her recoil. Yeah. Like, I, the first time I saw the movie, I expected to see Toby's body. Wait, mm-hmm. we did, I felt we did see his body. You do no, eventually. Later. Yeah. Okay, you okay. do eventually see it, but it's not, it's yeah. not up there. Mm-hmm. I assumed, like, because you see her reaction prior to you seeing mm-hmm. the penis. Mm-hmm. And I even had to rewind it when I watched it most recently, mm-hmm. just to be sure that there wasn't, like, a body behind like a dick. toe you didn't see. Yeah. Right, or something else. Yeah. And, and it, it, and obviously it represents the rape. It represents right, right, right. her, like, mm-hmm. reliving this moment. But it, it, that was an interesting choice. The yeah. obvious choice would have been to have his body there. And they did not do that. Mm-hmm. Which I think was well thought out for a movie that's... Oh, I, I just fuck. love the surplus yeah. of dicks in this movie. Well, I mean, that's yeah. The way it's always just gonna be always, the there should always be at least four to seven dicks in one movie. <laughs> Conservatively. Well, and then, then she goes home after seeing this crab eating the dick... She goes home and she is soaking the page from her textbook to that had the, the vagina with the yep. sticker mm-hmm. over it to get the sticker off. The the shock and surprise with which she is seeing her first vagina and yep. what the female anatomy Who actually didn't looks take like. Take a mirror to their fucking. A lot of bus. people. Oh my god! I did. It? Abstinence girl over here. Oh she yeah, definitely no, she's not would. Do it. No way. I did that. I was like, what? Let's of look course. At this thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what mm-hmm. compact mirrors are for. Yes. Yeah, just sit um, on it. Yeah. So then she does an internet search. It's like, uh, Stephanie, do you have a mirror for me to look at? Yes, hold on. Let me get it up. <laughs> Still in there. Just it down there. I just keep it down there in case I need to check. She, like, check. pasted a mirror to Very all her underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hold on. Oh, yep, looking good. Looking okay. good. Yeah, she's, she's good. She's looking nice. Um, so then Dawn does an internet search for female genital mutation mm-hmm. and vagina dentata is the first thing that comes up because yep. of course yeah. Google. Um, oh my god this is my favorite scene coming yes. up god damn mm-hmm. it and the myth of the toothed creature must be devoured it comes up primitive male it represents primitive male fear of women's sexuality yes. and fear of own impotence um so she's like oh no uh, this is me. This is my vagina. So she. <laughs> so she. Say moi. <laughs> say moi. So she does this really like out of character thing for her, which is go to the gynecologist. Yeah, and she drives like she bikes. She, she drives. Bikes she bikes there. like far as fuck. Yeah. And also like honestly, this scene is so it's crazy because this everything is an exaggeration of like an instance. Like oh, everything is the most drawn. Like it's every a man she yeah. comes in yeah. contact with. Is a fucking rapist. But those guys also exist. Yes, I know. But in it's like, scenarios. but it's cr- but it's crazy because the the goal of this movie was obviously to make a point. So yeah. it's like they could not even give you one. The only good guy is sort of the dad. Yes. The stepdad. The yeah. stepdad. Even, even that, you know that he knows that there's shit yep. going on. And you, you know, know, I mean, damn thing you about know. It. And so, um, okay, so she goes to the doctor. Who, the character that plays the doctor is He's fantastic. always a funny character. It's fantastic. Um, I loved him. He was in Scream 3. He was the cop that was the assistant to, um, uh, what's the guy who's in Grey's Anatomy? McCotty? McCotty? I've never watched I don't know. I don't watch that shit either. So, um, yeah, we just watched murder. Fuck that. Um, so... (laughs) Unless people are being murdered in the hospital, I don't care. Right? One, so, note, uh, I, I, uh, one note about her going to the gynecologist, I was not aware that kids under the age of 18 could go by themselves. Right, I didn't I, I don't think, I think so. That makes either. me question her age. Like, maybe is she, she a senior in high school? No, or? I think maybe she, you go to a clinic or something where there's probably places. Also, how does she get an appointment that fast? I can't get an appointment. Well, like it may have been like a Planned Parenthood situation. Yeah, could have been. I think that's a great point. And I think for that, you probably can. And, and well, I mean, like... Toby had a license. He mm-hmm. had his own car. So he's probably at least 17. I mean, she could very well be 18. Yeah. We don't know. Um, so, okay. So then 
Um, the guy although, knows- although having sex ed at 18, that's a little terrifying. Yes. Although, right? like, not shocking. Um, no, so then she goes into the doctor and he is like, you know, being normal at first. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Like, he's like, whatever you have to say in this I room. do love the scoot down. I scoot down. appreciate it. When that was dragged out because it's honestly, so that's exactly how it is. That's it's how it so was when real. I gave birth. Yes. They're scoot. Like, scoot. Yeah. Scoot. scoot. I was like, I can't feel the bottom can't half you of my catch? body. I don't know where I right. am. Damn it. No, this is your job. This is the doctor. The Scooting is so funny because that crinkly paper, when she even sits back, like mm-hmm. the scoot, it's just so funny. Yes. So then this, I remember this scene. I, I had seen that movie like so, so not long after it came out. So I didn't have a good memory of it. Mm-hmm. But I did remember the gynecologist, he's talking to her. She's like, are, he's like, are you sexually active? She's like, no, but yes, I guess. Again, blaming herself. I yeah. love that Did you that fume moment. at that moment? I love that moment so much because I think that it's very hard that when you're talking about like body counts and stuff mm-hmm. of like how many people you slept with. Do you count non-consensual partners? Yeah. I have always struggled with that one. Yeah, yeah. And I never know. Yeah. I still don't know. Mm-hmm. Medically, I feel like you do. No. Sure. But, like, in social settings, you don't. No. So it's tough. I, I, I very much appreciated them putting that moment of, of, like, because virginity is more than medical to her. It's her identity. Yeah. So she's answering from a medical perspective, but she doesn't realize it yet mm-hmm. she's so, wrapped up her identity yeah. in this answer of no that it was autonomous it was just yeah. you know, no wait a wait. minute this yeah. thing has occurred now i have to consider well, what right. everybody else thinks yes. Yes. yes so then he proceeds to go and take off yeah he takes off the gloves that the so then that's, to that's when you realize like so oh shit yeah and he gets in there and at first because she's not aware that something's going on and he had asked is this your first time mm-hmm so and so she, she knew. Responded. So yeah. she, so he knew that she had no idea how it's what supposed was to go. Her way. She right. came alone, so it's not like her mom had prepped her on right. the way. Nobody else like, is in there with you. No nurse. This is what it's going to be like. Also, it's like, like this in in every, in every essence. Like uh, that's what I'm saying. They're making so many. They're they're getting rid of reality of things to accommodate this idea of all these men being rapists mm-hmm. and ill intentioned because in normal life now there's always a second there's always a second person in that room. There's typically a second person in the room when you go to the Not gynecologist. When I've gone. No. Really? No. Yeah. I've always had that. Really? Well, I've almost never had Except that. the yeah. one time Except that some guy maternity. stuck a finger up his my butthole and I was like not sure. I was like, wait, is that yeah, well, then he had the woman who coughed in your vagina. She coughed inside my vagina. I did not get a cold, but I don't think you could have told either way. Yeah, I don't think that's how that works. I'm keeping that part in. Different. I love it. It's the best story. Um, um, yeah, just cough right into my into right my pussy. Right into your lady. Um, so um, yeah, he takes it off, and then she just. I guess she, she gets it. Well, he like, understands he says, what's happening. I'm checking your flexibility. And Which, PSA, nope, that's any, not, no, that's not a thing. That's nope, not real. No, and no. he's like, oh, you're tight. And she's like, this isn't right. Also, and not a clinical term. Yep. <laughs> being tight. Um, yeah, not, it's like, not a thing a doctor like, um, should not it's have like, a degree. It's no. like going to the down college and then being like, that shit's beautiful. And you're right. like, okay, I'm leaving. They're like, you pussy popping. Then, so um, he fully inserts fully four, four fingers. Four, four fingers. fucking fingers. Which also, I had a baby, and yes, I feel like that would be He's basically about to go fist deep. Yes, yes that's what I thought. And, I, and like at first Honestly, you can't it kind of would have been funnier had he lost the whole hand. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. So you don't... She clamps down, and you're aware that and, he oh is god. having things cut off and, and you're he, like how much of him was inside her and even I, I fully thought, I thought it was his dick cause I for a second oh, they're, the way they're stands. veiling it the yeah. way they're veiling him you're not even sure I think he was getting his dick ready <sighs> oh yeah. absolutely yeah. also absolutely. yeah and then also so I love that um when it's holding onto it, like it's like a bear trap, like it won't yeah. let go. Yeah, she's trying to kick him away, and, it, and the pussy won't let go. Like, oh, yeah. no, the no, pussy's no, like, I still got that meat in me. I gotta get it. I'm hungry. I, she needs to fully <laughs> Wait, I, I feel like her pussy is like tra- the teeth are like us, like a Southern Baptist. I, I picture her vagina her. as um. <laughs> Ernest scared stupid. Ernest, <laughs> was it, what is it, um, Jim Varney or something like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> what does that voice do it? <laughs> Just smoke like, a million packs of cigarettes. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know I what like, I mean? <laughs> like, king of the hill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they pulled a tooth out of one of the dicks, yes. and they were like, it's like a shark tooth. Mixed with we, an eel. Yes. So you know it's not like... I'm it's imagining, not just a set of I'm teeth, imagining it like, like um, garbage the teeth. James and the Giant Peach. Remember the sharks? The yes, sky sharks? I remember yes. the sky I'm sharks. imagining it like not that. Not an idiot. Oh, God. That's my fa- other favorite horror movie. <laughs> that's a so fucking so giant peach and a bunch of fucking big bugs. Spiders. So eventually oh, her gross. vagina is like, okay, I've had enough. Uh, and enough. he spits out his fingers. Spits out his fingers. fingers. Doesn't and- 
So like, she leaves and he's screaming as she's Vagina leaving. dentata! It's Vagina real! Vagina dentata! It's real! Vagina dentata! <laughs> that is the best and then scene. My automatic reaction is the fuck? How do so many people know what vagina dentata well, he is? He is a gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> he does he's know what is tight. The nuances <laughs> of a puss puss. Um, so, <laughs> From there, she mm. runs to Ryan's house. Yep, and also and does he like live in the garage? Is yes, he yes. lives in the garage. Yes. Um, That's and aggressively she is yeah. completely traumatized, yeah. and she's like, "Vagina dentata, it's what's inside." Of I oh wait, no, someone. she went back to the mom first. Oh. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Oh yes, my god, that's right. The, she okay, goes home. Okay, so she goes home. Mom is laying on the ground. Brad is fucking his girlfriend in the ass. Presumably dead. The mom. She's almost dead. Yeah. She's he's fucking his girlfriend in the ass again. You see them in the background. It's comical. Everything mm-hmm. is comical yeah. about this, even mm-hmm. though it's fucking horrific. Right. Yeah. So she calls nine one one. She like r- runs over to her mom because I assume that she was gonna. F- I I think that that was when she was finally gonna like yeah. tell her mom that she was finally gonna be like, yeah. this is what's occurring. Yeah. She thought but the police she, were after her. Yes. Yeah. So she, she like her. runs in, finds her mom. So she like calls nine one one. Do they go to the hospital before? Yeah, they okay. go to the hospital. So yeah. They go to the hospital and like. The girlfriend comes by and she's like, I can't, I could not get over that. The girlfriend is like there and she's like, sorry, like. She was crying. She was was like, Brad. So later we find out the mom died. Right. And then the dad goes home to confront Brad and says, you need to leave. Right. Because he knows that he was present while she was Well, because the girlfriend said she was screaming and Brad told me just to ignore it. Right. That she does that all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because at this scene when the mom dies, even though the mom has had no real role in this movie, you almost feel like this is the point where this girl's truly on her own Mm -hmm. and every decision she makes after that point is um like she she has to grow up she's like, really she's yeah, alone yeah. she leaves the the hospital her mom is still alive at this point mm-hmm. arguably she goes over there she doesn't know where to go um he is being nice to her and she's telling him she fucking killed somebody with her pussy and she, which he almost is, two. yeah he is almost um, two the uh, high school guy the high school yes, guy that was yeah. like yeah so, and she's yeah. like i i might have almost killed two guys and, and he's like what are you talking about clearly doesn't believe her yeah also doesn't care yeah well and i think i think he's the allegory for people won't believe you when you come yep. forward yeah. yeah so she's like i've killed these people and he's like yeah sure sure and sweetheart. she's like i need a hero to conquer me right so he drugs her he gives her like valium well, or let's, something oh, let's go back because he's He's like, what's going on? And she's like, vagina dentata. It's what's inside of me. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I know what vagina dentata is. He definitely doesn't. Nope. Yep. No, he's like, yep. yeah, 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 I know what that is. That's it's like, like I have a labia. And he's like, yeah, I know what vagina looks like. <laughs> but also, <laughs> also, can we, like, every time I hear the words vagina dentata, I just think of Hakuna Matata. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Vagina Tatata. What it's a what's inside of me. <laughs> um, wait, eyes. I can't imagine Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> like, vagina Tatata. No. So, okay, so then she takes a bath and she, he tells her, he's like, you want this? Which this is what my mom's. Which is the the movie. Yep. Yeah. And Every rose it's so has its beautiful. thorn is the tagline. Yes. And, and she's, I love that. And so he's like, this is what my mom takes when she's nervous. Do you want one of these? Now, I think the intent is twofold. One, he oh. wants to sedate her. Two, she's like, I'm fucking stressed out. Right, because she keeps saying she's she immediately to like, give them to me. Yeah, so right, she takes it. She doesn't even take water. She fucking just like swallows that yep. pill. Dry swallows that pill. Yep. I know that struggle. Yep. Um, depending <laughs> on how big like, the pill is, yeah. too. Slowly goes back into the water. Like, um, so down. she's looking grumpy as fuck. She so looks then, like an alligator, honestly. She I does. love it. So then <laughs> yeah. she, um, they go, she goes out and, you know, they start. She's in a towel. They do a towel. Mm-hmm. And then and clearly he, loopy as shit. And he's yes. pouring champagne. He lit the entire Wait, room He lit candles. the whole room in candles. That killed me. It was so funny. And funny. again, again, she's like in the mood and she's like, this is just how I imagined it. I'm like in a boy's room with Glade candles. <laughs> also, also yeah. like he has that shitty like Adam and Eve free vibrator you get. Oh, you yeah. Something. Right. Which means like, because he acts like he is like kind of naive. Yeah. yeah. No. But he also, A, has all these fucking candles ready to go. Yep. Also, and B, yeah. has a vibrator. We will see mm. in a, after we see who he is. Like, so it just shows you like he is so, the character was really veiled at the get go. Right, so she's sleeping. She's mm-hmm. sleeping on the couch. She's fully and he's, like playing with her titties and like using the vibe on her. But wasn't she just like laying? She was like no, kind of enjoying it. She's still she's, fully drugged at this yeah, point. Yeah, she's but totally was, in a haze because she's she had like, champagne uh, and valium. Because 
here's the thing, and this is where it really gets into another aspect of sexual assault, where mm-hmm. if she's inebriated, she can't consent. Right, she can't say yes. Regardless of what she's saying, but, but she's not in her right mind. And yeah. He knows that because he is the one who gave her the drugs. Right, he but knew then, that it would be a no if she was yep. sober. But yep. then, I think basically at this point, like, yes, yeah, she is drugged, but then she gets to this point where she's seeing that he's using the vibrator on her. She is then like, oh, like, wow, okay. In Let's her see. stupor. Right. She's yeah. enjoying Right. And she's like, Let's see. So he's like, Well, we're gonna do this. And she's like, No, 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 but the the, the dentata, they're gonna get it'll get you, it'll get you. And then she gets on top yeah. of him and it's Well it's, he's like, I'm gonna conquer it. And she's so fucking drugged, she's like, Fine. I'll probably bite your dick off, but whatever. Yeah, and then afterwards she's like, I can't believe you're still alive. Right. She never anticipated it to Which go is that great, way. but well, I mean, like and it shows that even though she was not in the right mindset to consent, right, right. she was open to it. And she yeah. enjoyed herself in that inebriation. Exactly. Um, yeah. And so she sleeps over, and the next morning, um, where she's no longer drugged, she remembers everything. Mm-hmm. And then, just as she's about to leave, he, he whips out the, the vibrator, vibrator. and like, she, and that's too. when she's like, she's like yes. yes, right. So then <laughs> she's, and then she also is in that moment, like really enjoying her sexuality. Yes. You can tell she, yeah, she yes. stands naked in front yes. of the mirror, and she's finally like, okay, I am, I'm, a, I'm, a and she and loves, loves what she's And I think she's just like a bad bitch. Yes, like, I'll kill you if I want to. Yes. Well, I don't think she knows yet that she is a choice and when it bites i think that she's just kind of like oh it's been conquered yeah cool i think there's also that slight recognition that if i'm really in trouble this will take care of me so so and that's she doesn't make a connection to it as in like she has not control but But, she knows her vagina will do the thing so then she they proceed to do it again now here's where the character turns he answers a phone call while (laughs) fucking her right balls deep while fucking her he's like hold on and he's like hey she's right here as we speak as we speak bro and then he's like don't say something she's like no no and then um, she She's like, realizes, he heard it and hangs up. And then she realizes that, and he goes on to say, basically, he was just trying to fucking sleep with her, and he, he had to bet. prove it. He had a bet with yep. his friends that he could fuck her. And get ready or not, here it comes. comes. Lose your dick. <laughs> it's coming off in my pussy. And she's just like riding him, and she's and then like, all of a sudden, like she kind of makes her, like, like a face. Cl- it looks like she's holding in a heart all over. <laughs> and then he does the like. I love all there, of the effects yes. every time of like it goes from moaning to wailing. Yes. Like, yes. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> also, I love that it's like this guttural, like uh, feral yell. Yes. 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 And it's so crazy. And now, is this the one where she stands and it falls? Out? No, no, no. no, no that's, that's the end. That's, that's the, the end. But okay, like, so end. this is happening like. And after she cuts his dick off and we see more bleeding genitals, mm-hmm. she's like, Oh, and he Shit. wore a condom at least, <laughs> yeah. so she's that's like, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's trying to like put it back on in a green condom. Yeah, yeah. also, and I like he like green. holds the dick up like he's just gonna place it and yeah. stay like and super meanwhile, real. The surgeon, you get like a glimpse of the gynecologist yeah. the fingers reattached. And they're like, How did this happen? Are you sure you don't want to tell us what and happened? Like, and he's like, oh, He grabs man. the mask and like puts it over his face, like, I'm not fucking talking. And then we get to the point where she goes back to the hospital. To see yes. her mom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Her mom is now dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and this scene is heartbreaking because the nurse is crying. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then you pan over to Dawn lying, lying on top on her of mom. her mom's dead body. Yeah. Just weeping oh and trying God, to get that... her mom to hold her. Oh God. Oh, God. So the stepdad goes home. Yeah. And then Brad, and Brad like, beats is the like, shit out of him. Yeah. Brad beats the shit out of him and lets mother, mother loose. Yeah. And now he says something that's interesting. He says you something about like that you shouldn't she's, have married her well he says something about like she's not you made her you made her my sister my sister yeah. so he's like i loved her and i wanted to fuck her but then you had to marry but her the dad mom. thinks he's talking about the stepmom oh. so he's like yeah you know we all loved her and right something like that and, and then, we never know what actually happened to his mom no yeah. i think she died because he's like i know you miss your mom yeah and yeah. he's like, it's not about her. It's not about her at all. And he's yeah. like, well, what's about? He's like, you made her my sister. And the mother bites like a chunk out of his yeah, neck. Yeah, out of the dad's neck. Yeah. yeah. Um, cut to <laughs> Brad didn't. The girlfriend takes the stepdad to the, the hospital, hospital. Mm-hmm. and they meet Dawn. And yeah, and then they. And say, that's where the girlfriend is like, hey, like I really wanted to do I'm something. So sorry. Yeah, I, I'm we sorry. We heard her screaming. Yeah, we heard her screaming, and Brad just said she does that all the time, and. Like to ignore her. Yeah. And the craziest thing is, like, in the scene where Dawn originally finds her, the door's fucking open. Yes. Oh, to them fucking. So She's just know. laying on the ground. And yeah. I'm like, girlfriend, you couldn't have gotten the fuck up and seen this shit? Come mm-hmm. on. Yeah. Yeah. So, mom is dead. Fucking everybody is dead. 
yeah. basically we don't we don't know the we don't know if fucking green condom dick is dead well we you know. see him getting his dick reattached we and do the surgeons are like not is much this, there is this even worth it reattaching because <laughs> it's like a tiny dick oh my god wait and he's, there has to be a story here but he's already unconscious <laughs> oh my he's like is it worth reattaching all the nurses are like oh there's a tiny dick <laughs> <laughs> so then so then Dawn fully goes into I'm gonna fucking kill everybody mode yeah, done. Oh, and goes yes. home, gets gussied up in front of the mirror, then goes into Brad's this room. Is the best. And she starts touching him. Yeah. And then she starts like sneaking up on him and he's like, Why are you doing this now? And she goes, Are you afraid? Oh. Yes. And then they start to get into it, but he wants to flip her over and do her in the butt, and she's yeah. like, no, and fights and like lays on her back. And he goes, this is too fucking weird. And she's like, just wait. Yep. And then oh. she like presents her vagina to yes. him, like pulls up that like white purity yes. dress, and he's just like staring at her pussy, like. So I'm like, you can't, they're not overbite. There's no overbite there. No, because so they're can't like see. retractable claws. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's basically like Wolverine. Yes. yes. Wolverine pussy. She's got Wolverine pussy. <laughs> oh my God. That is a new Halloween costume. Slutty Halloween costume. Done. So they start to. My pussy. <laughs> they start to fuck and he remembers now how his finger got cut. Mm-hmm. And it goes, it cuts from Dawn right now and her teeth back to Dawn yes. as an infant and her teeth there. Because he's like tracing and, her teeth with yes. his finger. And just as he remembers, she clamps down on his fucking dick. Mm-hmm. Tears it off. Um, she gets off of him, lets the dick fall. Oh, that's and the scene. Because you see it through the legs. Like yes. they shoot it through oh the legs. Oh my Prince Albert Such piercing. A, yes. And just... Oh, he has a Prince Albert piercing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so mother gets out of her the uh, dog, cage. The dog. Yeah, yeah, the Roddy. And Brad is like, get her. And mother instead goes over to the severed penis, picks it up in her mouth, and he's like, no, 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 no. And she eats it. Yep. Oh my God. Yes. And then spits out the Prince yes. Albert piercing. Yes. That's but, fucking um, amazing. And fun fact about that. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, love. Um, this the severed dick is actually made of sugar from a local bakery. No. So mm-hmm. that the dog wouldn't get hurt if she ate it. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! How sweet. Yep. Right. So it's beautiful, what, guys. You know what? All dicks should be made out of sugar. Only yes. the good ones. Truth. Not yeah, the that's right. Really nice. like that's a UTI. I, sh- I would really like to differentiate. Yeah. I mean, at, One the, at be... the risk of a UTI. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's true. That'd be terrible. Actually. <laughs> no, never mind. This is a really bad idea. It's like we're done. So then she can she moves on and she runs away from home, she leaving Brad to bleed out well he's gonna be he's dead yeah we just so we're just he dead. he's fucking dead um, um and there's nothing again there is truly now nothing nothing right. there's the stepdad really means nothing right. yep. yeah she has no one and nothing mm-hmm. and yes. she goes out on the road and uh hitchhikes yeah and well, she tries to bike yeah and then she gets a flat and she gets a flat so i think that like i think that's an important moment because she wasn't intending to be vindictive mm-hmm. but then she's like you know what this is the fucking hand that life gave me yep Suck it. And then she goes to get out of the car. So she she hitchhikes it. This old man picks her up. And then she, like, falls asleep because she has some sense of security because she has built-in vagina. Trap, vagina. <laughs> so she goes, like, she wakes up as they pull into this gas station at night so you know time has passed. And she goes to get out of the car. And then this fucking creep. Oh, my God. I cannot her up that. is doing, like... Faces at her and just like the eyebrows and she's just like whatever. That sounds goes, Emily. I want to make my ringtone. Please like, do, <laughs> please do. That's actually just gonna be the intro and outro to this podcast right now. So he, she goes to get out of the car multiple times. Yes, she tries to leave. So it was not her intention upon getting into the car, right, to do this to him. And then she's like, you can see it like literally dawn on her that no pun intended, right? Yeah. But she she has the power to. To kill and and she makes this face and that's and she does the come curtains. hither look she's yeah, like looks like bring it real on slow and then does the I'm come also hither just look like up. I I know and thinking about all of our genitals I'm also just like man the mm-hmm. residue oh, in there it's gotta be just really bad oh for sure well self cleaning of it buddy that's true that's true maybe she just turns it on and their teeth kind of like, like yeah. floss themselves yes um yeah but it is this movie is so. It's like a really wild ride. It's, it's a fun after school special. It's really fun. <laughs> it it's is. this should be a sex ed movie. Yes. I feel I like. like it more every time I watch it. Yeah. Because me too. the first time you watch it, you think it's just like Insane. camp nonsense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then you watch it again and you're like, what a press he looks Okay, like. there's a lot of thought. 
that yeah. went into this. And then you watch it later, and hopefully your experience is not watching it as a sexual assault survivor. Right. Yes. Of reclaiming that power back. Like a... This is so cathartic. I it think is. it's because it, it almost takes it and somehow makes light of it. And yeah. I don't know how it does that successfully. I don't think that it uses rape as a cheap trick to victimize someone. I think, I it's, think that's yeah. the key. Because yes. rape is used as the boogeyman of all film. Mm-hmm. If you want to hate a character, the easiest way to do so is, is to make a them rapist. a rapist. Mm-hmm. Yep. Easiest way to do it. Yep. That's not what happened. Toby, you like. Mm-hmm. You like Toby in the beginning. And you could even construe your mind, especially in 2007, mm-hmm. that, oh, she was giving mixed signals. Mm-hmm. Oh, this was the case. Maybe she did want it. So yeah. it wasn't a way of, of victimizing her. It was it was a portrait of what could happen. I think Even the like, high school guy yeah. that liked her, you were like, well, he did like candles. Mm-hmm. It I wasn't think, this yeah. brutal rape in an alley. I think part of it is that they're, they're, swi- they're switching it on its head because, like you said, like, they're not making these people like attack you in the street, rapists. Right. Oh, and I'm I'm quick to root for a murderer. Yeah, I'll say that yeah. pretty yeah. pretty yeah. freely. Yeah. But it really was Don's yeah. story. Yes, it wasn't and, anybody exactly else. And I think a part of it is at the end she quickly because it goes so fast she does quickly realize her power and it's yes. almost like that her not being put down by these horrible mm-hmm. things happening to her she like overcomes it. Yeah, she and then grows it's like, in the ashes. Wait a minute, fuck you. I am going to now be like a fucking rapist murderer. Right. You she know? becomes the heroine of her yeah. own story. And, and, I yeah. think, and I think it, it's very interesting. I'd be curious to see, like, I'm sure there's so many biblical parallels that we didn't even oh think about. Oh, absolutely. Because sure. we don't know yeah. shit about that much of religion. No. So. Um, how many teeth do you give this out of ten? Or severed dicks. How many yeah. severed dicks, yes. How many limp sugar dicks do you give this out of ten, out of ten dicks? Who? Four. Um, you give it a four, four out, out of ten? ten? Four. Oh, no, out of ten. I'm sorry. I was doing out of five still. Oh, I'm switching it up. Seven. Seven mm-hmm. out of ten severed dicks. I'm going to go like... I'm going to go I'm going to go seven and a half. Seven and a half. I'll go seven and a half. I'm going to go for the full eight. Do it. Yeah. You know? Yep. Do yeah. it. The allegory that I think, you know, as much as we delved into the metaphorical shit that is involved in this, we still, there's so much more embedded in this yes. movie yeah. mm-hmm. that we weren't even able to dig into. Yeah. And I think that is so valuable that makes, regardless of the campiness, which it is full on camp, which I adore. Campy. Yes, of course. Um, I love camp. The, mm-hmm. the metaf- I hated actual camp. <laughs> the metaphors and the allegories, you know, those will live on and this will continue to make yeah. an impact yeah. beyond its time.